As the International Space Station gets closer to its planned orbit, a new era of commercial space stations are getting ready to begin theirs. Out of all these different companies, Axiom Space has the most aggressive schedule with initial segment launches starting only in 2025. By now, the company has already made a lot of physical progress on the station and its various components. Just days ago, we received an update on the main segment's construction process and some of the parts that need to be completed. Axiom Space's future station has a very unique opportunity in that NASA has allowed the company to initially attach station segments to the International Space Station. This is a big deal that allows Axiom much more freedom and time to build it up before it separates and officially becomes its own station. In regard to this, the AX-2 mission is right around one month away, which intends to expand access to the International Space Station in low Earth orbit. Here I'll go more in depth into some of the recent construction progress on Axiom Station, the importance of connecting to the ISS, what to expect in the coming months, and more. For a few years now, Axiom has been constructing everything needed for the future station. The two main parts include the large segments themselves and additional technologies such as hatches, avionics, etc. For the main segments, back in 2021, Axiom contracted a company named Thales Alenia Space to develop two of the key pressurized elements of Axiom Space Station, HAB-1 and HAB-2. Only days ago, the company tweeted saying, Our teams at Thales Alenia Space are proud to contribute to the upcoming Axiom Space commercial station. Been currently working on the first two pressurized modules. Axiom Space went further in depth, pointing out, the complex node cylinder, one of four flight hardware rings, will be used to connect the Axiom Station module's primary structure sectors. Seven of these rings are needed to assemble each primary structure of the Axiom Station habitation module. By now, the construction of the world's first commercial space station is not only underway, but making decent strides. Following the completion of preliminary and critical design reviews in collaboration with NASA, Thales Alenia Space began welding and machining activities for the primary structures of Axiom Station's first module. The first pieces of fabricated flight hardware are beginning to come together, and the assembled module will join Axiom in Houston soon, where they will complete the final assembly and integration. Looking at the design, each Axiom module's primary structure features four radial bulkheads, to which other space station modules and visiting spacecraft can attach, supporting increased traffic and future expansion. The first Axiom module's bulkheads are well into their machining over at Thales and Linea Space's Turin facility. Various images from the company highlight the size and strength of these core structures. In addition to these main features, Axiom wanted to make the station special and feature one of the biggest observing rooms ever sent into space. In various renders and animations, you can see this large, 360-degree view room named the Cupola. While it looks incredible, it's by no means easy to create and launch such large windows into space. In fact, the eight windows that make up this observatory will be eight of the largest windows ever constructed for the space environment. Right now, Axiom has created a test unit that continues to undergo increasingly extensive vacuum seal and stress testing to confirm the design meets all leak rate, outgassing, and material deformation requirements. Other important developments include modern hatches, propulsion, and more. The Axiom station module hatches will allow crews to access current and future station elements and visiting vehicles, enabling a dynamic environment for economic activity on orbit. The company has a development unit that validates the design's ability to seal under a predetermined input force. While hatches are important, the station also needs the ability to move, which is why Axiom modules are each individual spacecraft equipped with systems needed to maneuver in orbit, including propulsion thrusters developed in-house. The current test unit continues to cycle through new and progressively longer hot fire cycles to refine the design, all of which will come together not long from now as they prepare for a first launch in 2025. Axiom Space has a significant advantage over other companies trying to create a commercial space station, thanks to its deal with NASA. Axiom is the only company with the privilege of connecting its modules to the International Space Station. This partnership and strategic connection allows Axiom Space to effectively adopt the service and multinational user base of the ISS National Laboratory to seamlessly continue research and manufacturing initiatives. The Axiom Space Station will host people, research, and manufacturing that hopes to lead development for numerous industries using techniques that are available only in microgravity. The station is also intended to service the rapidly expanding infrastructure and solutions operating in space and provide an accessible platform for private companies and national governments to continue the research and development of breakthrough innovations. Focusing more on the deal with NASA, on February 28, 2020, NASA awarded Axiom a firm fixed price indefinite delivery indefinite quantity contract with a maximum potential value, inclusive of options, of $140 million. NASA selected the company to provide at least one habitable commercial module to be attached to the International Space Station, as the agency continues to open the station for commercial use. 
The element will attach to the space station's Node 2 forward port to demonstrate its ability to provide products and services and begin the transition to a sustainable, low-Earth orbit economy in which NASA is one of many customers. At the time, the NASA administrator commented, Axiom's work to develop a commercial destination in space is a critical step for NASA to meet its long-term needs for astronaut training, scientific research, and technology demonstrations in low-Earth orbit. We are transforming the way NASA works with industry to benefit the global economy in advanced space exploration. Around the same time period as this announcement, the company released preliminary plans for how the Axiom orbital segment could form the basis for the Axiom station. The company plans to launch its first module to the ISS in 2025, with the second, third, and fourth launching in 2026, 2027, and 2028 respectively. A big part of this shift for NASA from their own operations to commercial has to do with Axiom Space's crewed ISS missions. Exactly one year ago on April 8th, the first all-private astronaut mission headed to the ISS launched, successfully demonstrating Axiom Space's ability to integrate with the ISS and conduct meaningful research. Now in 2023, the next private mission to the station, named AX-2, is only a month away. The Axiom Mission 2 astronauts are part of the latest class of space pioneers and Axiom Space's next crew to expand access to the International Space Station and low Earth orbit. Aboard the orbiting laboratory, the four-person, multinational crew will conduct extensive research, investigate novel technologies, and engage with audiences around the world as champions of science, technology, engineering, the arts, and mathematics. Their efforts are intended to lay the groundwork and establish the key capabilities needed to build out and operate Axiom Station. Specifically, AX-2 will be Axiom Space's second all-private astronaut mission to the ISS, marking another pivotal step toward the station. The AX-2 crew is currently scheduled to launch this May. The four-person Axiom space crew will fly to space in SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft atop its Falcon 9 rocket to participate in a 12-day mission, including 10 days of working and living on the orbiting laboratory to implement a full mission manifest of science, outreach, and commercial activities. Axiom Space's Director of Human Spaceflight, Peggy Whitson, a former NASA astronaut and ISS commander, will lead the privately funded mission. At its core, AX2 is trying to expand access to users to conduct robust scientific research, biomanufacturing, and technology demonstrations in low Earth orbit. As the second private mission to the ISS, AX2 is an important step for the company and its academic and industrial partners to perform proof-of-concept studies and cutting-edge advancements in microgravity. Before Axiom segments can launch and join the ISS, they want to send humans consistently first. In the future, when the station is up and running, Axiom has big plans relating to research only possible in microgravity. For example, the weightless environment enables the formation of an alloy structure to be driven by diffusion as described by Brownian motion, rather than gravity-driven sedimentation. Just one advancement of many we can look forward to. Axiom Space is continuing to work on everything needed for a modern commercial space station. While its partners at Thales Alenia Space develop the main segments, Axiom is continuing to test every other component as they also prepare for AX2. We will have to wait and see how it progresses and the impact it has on the space industry. Thank you very much for watching.